All right, everyone. So it is Saturday afternoon, about one o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm getting supper ready already. So we are having uh, burgers and brats in beer. So I've got all kinds, uh, two onions all cut up. I got two bottles of beer in there. This is the only time we ever get beer because we don't drink, but we do put it for like beer brats. So right now I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to go outside and grill out the burgers and brats and then bring them in and put them in here to sit in here for a while and supper's done. So, all right. So that's what we're having for Saturday. All right, everyone, so the brats and burgers have been sitting in the beer and onions for a couple hours now, and Glenn's not ready to eat, but I am so hungry right now, so I am going to go ahead and have myself a double brat, and he'll just eat later, so, but it sure looks delicious sitting in that uh, beer and onion, so, all right, so that's our supper for this Saturday night. All right, everyone, so it is Sunday morning. It's almost 11 o'clock, but we're having early lunch. And we have plenty of leftovers of our brats and burgers. So I just, when I got up this morning, I plugged in the Hot Logic. That's what this is. It's a Hot Logic. It's basically a warmer. So I just let it sit and it's warm now. So there is plenty left over. And what we discovered about the brats versus the the buns we're using them on the brats are way big way bigger than the buns so you can actually break one brat in half and make it a double brat still so and you're only using one brat so wish I had done that from the beginning but we have plenty left over we've got two hamburgers left I'm going to use a brat right now and we'll have a brat left so um Glenn's eating lunch. I gave him his. He's having a brat and a hamburger. So yeah, that should be plenty for uh, supper tonight. So we'll eat three times. Two people will eat three times off of the brat and burgers. All right, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It is Monday morning and I'm going to prepare for supper right now. So it's like uh, 1035 in the morning. I want to get supper prepared. Um, we're having these pork chops that I picked up at Meyer. The actual price was $3.95 and we got them for $4.96. So yeah, we want to go ahead and uh, have this for supper tonight. Over the weekend, we had the beer brats and burgers and it was really good and we ate all of it. So we had three meals off of it and we ate all of it. So nothing got wasted. All right. So now what I'm going to do here, there's a, looks like there's five pork chops. I'm going to cook. Well, I'm going to put them on the grill and I'm probably going to do three tonight, the other two tomorrow. And I know I can cook them all tonight and save the others for tomorrow, but we like them fresh on the grill. Um, I guess what we find is they tend to dry out overnight, so we just want to have them fresh tomorrow. So the reason I'm going to do two nights in a row is because I'm going to be making a potato salad for Glenn as well, and he'll have enough for a couple days, so we'll have the pork chops for a couple days. So $4.96 for two people for two days, not a bad price. Budget friendly, and it should be good. All right, so what I want to do now is kind of do a little marinade. It's not really like a juice marinade. I'll show you what I'm going to do. This is my meat cutting board. <laughs> uh, the other one, the birds, is for like fruits and vegetables. So, and wolves are meat eaters, and that's why it's my meat cutting board. Uh, before I put meat on here, I'm going to just cut this lime, and I'm going to rub some lime juice on them. And it's not much for flavor. It's not so much for the flavor. It's just to break down all that uh, stuff in the pork chops. So, 
uh, when I got the limes, I got three of them, and I used two of them for the carnitas. And wouldn't you know it, I didn't do any video on any of the carnitas. <laughs> but you've seen us do carnitas before, and it was pretty simple. But I want to use this last lime before it goes bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pork chops out now. Um, don't mind my sniffles. I just filled up the <laughs> the pepper shaker and I always get sniffles and sneeze to that. These are really good sized pork chops. Look at this one. It's humongous. Wow. All five of them fill up this cutting board. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is rub some lime juice on all of them. And I did roll out, I don't know if I did it on camera, but I did roll the lime to bring out those juices. And I'm going to cook the pork chops on the grill a little different way that I normally do. Normally I just uh, put them on the grill, season them both sides, and let them cook. I watched uh, a video this morning from Cowboy Kent Rollins. And I want to try his method. Uh, what if I should just season them right away? I think I'll season the sides and then flip them over and do the other side. Oh, that pepper really gets to me. All right. And for, I'm just going to use some seasoned salt, onion powder, and pepper. I do need to pick up some tenderizer, the seasoning, um, to start using in the meats. I'm going to marinate, I guess you can call it marinade. I'm not making a marinade juice, but I'm marinating it this way. And I'm going to put them in the fridge this way for about three or four hours maybe. And then before I put them on the grill, I'm going to take them out to get at room temperature. All right, I'm just going to rub that seasoning in there. That little bone sticking out. Hope you all had a good weekend. Me and Gypsy went outside yesterday. I didn't record it. But we sat outside for a little bit. It was like 72 or 75 degrees. It is almost time for Glenn to go outside. Uh, we're hoping in a couple weeks by the end of the month or the beginning of May that he will be able to go outside. We need those temperatures to at least be in the 60s on a steady basis. All right, I'm going to do the same uh, same thing to this side, so I won't make you watch that, but I'll be back after I'm done doing that. Okay, so I am done uh, doing both sides, and I, oh, I only used half of a lime, and that went for both sides um, on all five pork chops. On the last one, I was really squeezing that last bit of juice out, so that way... 
If I need this for something else, I have it. Not that I couldn't go get more, but why if you already have some? <laughs> All right, so I'll wrap that up in a clear wrap and see if I need that for something else. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in this uh, gallon-sized freezer bag and then put them in the refrigerator. And that's all I'm going to do for the marinade, if you want to call it. But And then I'll show you, this was one different step that I normally would do if I cook pork chops. Normally I thaw them out, put them on the grill, season them, cook them, that's it. So doing this is different, and then I have one more step that's different, but you'll see that when I get to it. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. Got them all in here. Put them in the fridge for about three or four hours, and then take them out so they get at room temperature before I put them on the grill. All right, so I'm going to clean this mess up, but I want to show you uh, something we did with Glenn's uh, homemade salsa. All right, everyone. So I just wanted to uh, tell you about the changes that Glenn made to his salsa and what he's done with it. So uh, on the initial night I made the salsa, um, he ate it, but then he said he would make some changes. So the next day um, he wanted to add two more garlic pieces, a couple like four more of those smaller Campari tomatoes that I usually get. And a little bit of vinegar and some water so I did that and put it back through the blender and boy was that additional garlic a mistake it was smelling horrible I think it tasted horrible he said um, yeah so the additional garlic was not the best move but you it like I said it was trial and error and now he knows not to put all that garlic in there so what he's done, he didn't want to waste the salsa because there was still a good amount left. He didn't want to waste it. So remember these hot sausages that I got for him from Meyer? Well, he did not like the juice that was in there. So <laughs> he had me throw the juice out and put his salsa in there. I don't know how well you can tell, but that is his salsa in there. So... <laughs> So he's going to try it that way. And that way the salsa didn't get thrown out. Um, so yeah, that's what happened with the salsa and the red hot sausages. So we're going to keep this in, a, in the fridge for a couple days without using it. Just so, and I did poke holes through the sausages. Uh, so that juice will get through there, hopefully. And uh, he'll try them in a couple days. And we'll give you an update on that. <laughs> so that's what happened with that. But uh, last night we did uh, make some milkshakes with the blender. We made some strawberry ones. So I didn't record that. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm going to do a couple more things and start getting ready to make some potato salad. All right, everyone. So I am going to make the mix for the potato salad right now. And right now I'm putting in three quarter cups of Miracle Whip, tablespoon of uh, vinegar, one and a half tablespoons of sweet pickle relish, a tablespoon of dill relish, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of yellow mustard, a tablespoon of dill pickle juice so I just took it from my pickle jar a tablespoon of milk quarter teaspoon of salt quarter teaspoon of pepper all right and we're just gonna mix this up I've already got the potatoes done they're uh, sitting on a cookie sheet cooling off and the eggs are almost done we're also going to put cucumber in here. This is a recipe from uh, Glenn found it from Rachel Cooks with Love, I believe it is. I usually watch some of her videos and uh, the cucumber she did not put in. But what she did put in that we are not using is onion, celery, and chives. 
So she did put in that. We are not. But everything else, we just basically cut her recipe in half. Because it Glenn's the only one that's going to eat this. All right, so just making the sauce right now and then we'll add in everything else. All right, everyone, so I am ready to put all this potato salad together. So on this cookie sheet, the potatoes have been sitting so they can get cold, completely cold. So I'm gonna dump these in here now. And this is four Pretty good size potatoes, medium size. And now I'm going to dump in my egg and cucumber. All right, now we're going to put the sauce in. And you want to gently mix this, fold it, fold it all in together because you don't want to break up the potatoes or further break up the eggs. And Glenn did a taste test on the sauce um, beforehand. And I just, he just had me add a little more pepper and three more tablespoons of milk just to uh, thin it out a little bit. Looks pretty good. Should I taste it? I don't normally eat potato salad. I'll taste it. <laughs> you got a potato and a cucumber there. Not bad. All right, I'm going to have Glenn taste this now, but that's pretty much the potato salad. And uh, in just a bit here, I'm going to be grilling out the pork chops. All right, everyone. So uh, we gave this a taste test, as you know, I did beforehand. And I've never been a, a one for potato salad, probably because all the ones I've seen have onions and I will not eat raw onions. Absolutely not. And Glenn, uh, as much as he likes onions, he does not like crunchy onions in certain foods. This would be one of them. So I actually, <laughs> I kept uh, taking bites and more bites. So I actually think I'm going to eat this. I was going to make myself uh, some kind of a potato in the oven for my, my pork chop. But I actually think I'm just going to eat potato salad. Go figure. Never in my life. And here I am, but <laughs> Glenn's laughing at me. He says, yeah, go figure. <laughs> but Glenn actually feels like it's missing something, a kick or something. But he said, just let it sit and we'll see how it tastes when we're eating it. So I'm going to look up the last time we made potato salad, uh, compare the ingredient amounts to see, because I know the last one he liked more than I did. So there was a kick of some type in that one. So I'll look to see what's missing in this one. But for me, it's perfect. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to clean up these little bit of dishes. And then it's almost going to be time to start the grill up. So, All right, so we'll see you outside. All right, everyone. So I'm going to get the pork chops ready now. So I've got some tin foil, and I'm going to wrap each one individually 
And I'm going to go ahead and make three of them tonight. And I'll do two tomorrow. So, you want to... I could smell the seasonings on them. And then you want to put a dab of butter on there. And then just wrap it up. And that's all I'm going to do to them. And I'm going to put them on the grill like that, obviously. So I'm going to get a good size one for Glenn. This is a pretty good one. And the idea is to, uh, for wrapping them, have the inside cook, and then that way you cook them on each side, and I'm just going to do a couple minutes on each side, and then take them out of the tin foil and put them on the grill like that, um, so they can brown on the outside. So that's what the idea is. I'm going to try it. Again, I got this idea from Cowboy Kent Rollins video, and we'll see how it turns out. Another good size one. All right, the other two will be for tomorrow. it up all right so this is the three for tonight and I am gonna go ahead and start getting the grill ready All right, everyone, so I have uh, the packets on the grill. I can actually hear the sizzling inside, so I'm going to leave them on here for a few minutes and then turn them over for another few minutes, and then I'll take them out of the tin foil and put them on the grill to brown. All right, everyone, so here's the first pork chop. I'm going to take it out of the tin foil. It was on two minutes for each side, and it looks like it started cooking already, so... These are going to be ready to come out of the tin foil now. All right, so I got all three of them on now, and I just want to simply brown them. So hopefully I don't overcook them. All right, everyone, so here is our pork chop dinner and our potato salad. And yes, for the first time ever, I am having potato salad um, as a side dish. <laughs> I guess I'm going to eat potato salad. So, all right, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed these meals, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I really appreciate all the support. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.